Stellan Tai's love of Easter eggs compelled designers of the Ram 1500 TRX to include a graphic of a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex chasing a comparatively tiny Velociraptor in the center console, with a more graphic image of a Raptor being chomped by a T-Rex under the hood. Yes, that Hellcat-powered Desert Destroyer clearly caught Ford, which invented the factory Baja Racer category with its F-150 Raptor, flat-footed. But Ford is ready to more than even the score this fall with the introduction of the 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R, powered by the aptly named Predator Supercharged V8 borrowed from the Shelby GT500 and significantly modified. Let's not bury the lead here, in an F-150 Raptor R, the 5.2-liter Predator V8 makes 700 horsepower at 6,650 revolutions per minute, down from the GT500 760 horsepower at 7,300 revolutions per minute, and 640 pounds to foot at 4,250 revolutions per minute, up from 625 pounds to foot at 5,000 revolutions per minute. This recalibration reflects the mission shift from Track Star to Baja 1000 Trophy Truck. They also allow this engine to haul 1,400 pounds of payload, lug an 8,700-pound trailer, and pass Ford's rigorous pickup truck durability test cycles while spinning four gigantic 37-inch diameter tires, 10 inches larger than a GT500 tire. And though that modest increase in peak torque may seem unimpressive, we're assured that torque increases by an average of 25% across the entire rev range. Save your googling, the TRX's pushrod engine makes 702 horsepower at 6,100 revolutions per minute and 650 pounds to foot at 4,800 revolutions per minute, and its payload and tow ratings are 1,308,100 pounds. The same 120 mile per hour governed top speed as the Raptor 37 will apply, but, weighing in at around 6,100 pounds, the weight to power ratio drops from the 3.5 liter Raptor 37's 13.3 pounds slash HP to 8.6 so we're confident the 0 to 60 mile per hour time will drop from the 37's 5.6 seconds to perhaps 3.8 seconds or quicker. For those keeping score at home, the 6,760 pound, 9.6 pound slash HP, Ram TRX needs 4.1 seconds. You'll basically need four electric motors to go faster in a pickup truck. The Rivian R1T, 8.6 pound slash HP, 3.1 seconds to 60 miles per hour. Nobody's bombing across a desert at 180 miles per hour, so high RPM power is de-emphasized. Reducing the red line from 7,500 to 7,000 revolutions per minute allowed the supercharger pulley diameter to shrink, which means the Eaton TVs are 2650 blower spools up more quickly at lower RPM, boosting low and mid-range torque, without fear of over-revving at the top end. Breathing is also improved with a new conical air filter that improves airflow by 66%. On the exhaust side are new cast stainless steel headers feeding a dual exhaust system that includes a true pass-through muffler where sound pulses from each bank can intermingle. These cast headers don't flow quite as freely as the GT500's tubular ones, but they can survive repeated Davis Dam, max towing pulls. Gone is the V6 Raptor's exhaust pipe trombone loop, and the active noise valve feature is recalibrated for the R. The engine's lubrication circuit is significantly enhanced with a deeper, higher capacity oil pan and a bar plate oil to water cooling system that's integrated into the engine cooling circuit, a setup that works better for towing than the GT500's track optimized oil to air cooler. There's also a new viscous aluminum crankshaft balancer. You can't simply yank out a 450 horsepower slash 510 pound to foot twin turbo V6, slap in a 700 horsepower slash 640 pound to foot V8, and then send it off with a factory warranty. The 10-speed automatics torque converter is fortified with a heavy-duty turbine damper and a beefy 4-pinion output assembly. The shift programming is tuned to deliver the quickest shifts of any Ford 10-speed. The torque is then transmitted aft through a larger diameter aluminum drive shaft, and forward to a new front axle featuring a strengthened spider gear carrier and structurally reinforced front cover. Ford basically introduced the Raptor R chassis last year, dubbed Raptor 37 to denote its class largest tires. To that already reinforced platforms reinforced jounce bumper mounts, stronger front Fox shocks, and a new crossmember, trailer hitch, and winch mount for the underslung 37-inch spare, the R adds only unique calibration of the Fox live valve shocks and front springs that are stiffened by 5% to accommodate the roughly 80 additional pounds of the V8 powertrain. Outside, the Raptor R is distinguished by code orange front tow hooks and an oranger on the grille, a 1-inch taller power dome in the hood for looks as the engine requires no extra clearance, and unique graphics. The hood and rear flanks get appliques that look like a cracked desert floor filled in with a zillion little eights and one single V on the driver's side rear. Inside, 
There's a full blackout package with gloss black dash panels, carbon fiber accents with a unique triaxial weave, and unique standard Recaro seat coverings. The black leather and Alcantara upholstery is accented with code orange stitching and the seat backs are embroidered with a Raptor logo featuring an orange R at the end. The order banks are open now for dealer delivery starting in fall 2022 at a somewhat eye-watering all-inclusive price of $109,145. Buyer's only options will be the choice of eight colors, including an exclusive avalanche gray, and a panoramic sunroof likely to cost somewhere around $1,495 as it does on lesser F-150s. A similarly configured TRX rings in at around $102,000, so that's either a bold ask, it's factoring in considerable inflation, it aims to deprive dealers of their markup, or maybe it's Ford's subtler answer to Ram's T-Rex vs. Raptor Easter egg graphics.